After word got around that I'd repaired the little window vacuum, uh, suddenly two more appear. This guy is quite an old Hoover and 18 volts it says and wasn't charging or working and that's relatively easy to find out why. This is the old NICAD pack that was in it and it is uh, completely corroded and shot so that will have to be replaced. This more modern uh, Liddles vacuum also doesn't, uh, doesn't power on, doesn't charge. So there are many more contacts on the battery for this unit. Um, I guess that's to do with the eco mode. We will no doubt find out. So let's take a look first at the issue with the Liddles battery and then uh, we'll follow on with the Hoover. I've been brought this charging unit from uh, Liddles cordless vacuum cleaner with lithium ion battery pack, 22.2 uh, volts, and it's not charging. So uh, we get no, no LEDs come on, no nothing, seems completely dead. The place to start obviously will be with the actual uh, adapter that's supplied with it. Now this should be 27 volts according to the label and indeed it's uh, 27.25 so so far so good if we pull the battery pack out now we can see down in the in the guts of the thing there's just two contacts which is strange because the battery has many more but we'll investigate that too and if we plug the charger in we can see that we get our 27.2 volts inside so there's no issue with that part of the of the system now if we turn our attention to the to the battery uh, we could see inside that it it only uses these two connections but uh, let's just take a look at what voltage we have across here and it's 0 0.136 so it's 100 millivolts so something seriously wrong and we're going to have to take a look further. Uh, unfortunately here it says do not disassemble. Um, well sorry guys in we go. Now looking down the holes I can see that it uses a Torx type um, screw not even one of the security types so we should be able to use this All right, so here we can see it in all its glory. There appears to be um, just a standard pack of 18650 type cells. The other cable up here goes to the LED display for the uh, charge condition. Uh, the whole of this is removed and we can see that it is indeed 18650 cells possibly LG, which is normally a reasonable type. So now we should be able to measure across each individual cell and see what voltages they are. So we can start with this cell here, which is 4 volts, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9 and this one. So all of the cells are reading around about 4 volts. The only way we're going to be able to look at the circuit board itself is obviously to unsolder the, uh, the cells from it. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already desoldered uh, all except one of the connections now. I just thought I'd show you my technique here with a well tinned soldering iron. Sometimes it's counterintuitive. You actually have to apply some solder to remove some solder. And just simply making sure that it's well, well heated there. And you can see with the solder sucker, um, it's removed the solder pretty much from all of the contact. And then it's simply a matter of gently levering it up. So now we have the pack exposed and we can take a look at the board. Looking at the circuit board 
uh, we can see that it is a little more complex than just a standard battery management board. As it, I pointed out before, there are many different wires connecting it uh, to the circuitry inside the vacuum cleaner. Uh, the vacuum cleaner has a, an eco mode with reduced voltage, so that's most likely going to be using some of these contacts. As the board is faulty, I can't measure the voltages on there and, and, and can't fathom out if I could adapt a standard BMS board to do what's necessary. So it's, it's game over as far as repairing this board is concerned. I did find that the, the main 10 amp fuse was blown and I have bridged that and tested it again to, to no avail. So unfortunately, um, I'm giving up with this board, but not with the pack itself. I have an idea for that. With regard to replacing this, I'm going to go online and order the client uh, a replacement battery pack, which is going to cost something in the order of 40 euros, including postage from Germany. Let's take a look at uh, an alternative use for the pack, because the cells are still good. Here we can see that I've put on a standard uh, six cell BMS board and links down in the description. This is quite straightforward to wire up just the battery plus and minus and then the individual balance leads for the cells and it is charged and provides power through these two leads here. This is going to fit into an old Hoover uh, cordless vacuum cleaner which was using nickel cadmium cells which are now uh, completely useless. So we're going to replace the pack with these lithium guys and uh, see if we can breathe new life into it. Everything's wired in place now. Uh, with the judicious use of my Dremel on it with its cut-off wheel, I've had to enlarge the uh, enclosure here to fit the battery in. The NICAD cell was obviously very long and, and much thinner. So that's, that's sitting in there neatly. I've soldered on the motor wires. I've left the little wires here and what I'm going to do is in the, in the cover here, drill a hole and put a 2.1 mil charging jack in, in there. I don't have that to hand right now, but uh, we're in a good position to, to test it. So uh, this is going to be noisy. That's one hell of a sucker, and I don't mean it's easily fooled.